is so hot right now. I am literally sitting here sweating. I don't even know how I managed to put on any kind of makeup and my hair is probably going to end up in a ponytail by the end of this video because it is just sticking to the back of my neck. I have made myself an ice cold soda water with a little bit of lime. This is my absolute favorite drink. Ryan and I love soda water. <sighs> And it is giving me life at this point. So anyway, guys, I wanted to do a monthly check-in with my planner. So as some of you may know, I started using this beautiful croc leather planner from Cloth and Paper at the start of this year. And I haven't used a physical planner like this for a really long time since I did my university degree. And I forgot how much I have missed having one and how much more organized and productive my life is by having one. So I am so excited to film this. I've watched so many monthly reset videos lately and it has inspired me so much to get motivated again because I feel like January is hard. Um, just because you're trying to get back into the groove of things, it's it was kind of hard for me to let go. Um, of Christmas because it is my favorite time of the year I wait for it all year round so the moment Christmas is over it's it's really hard to just like come to terms of like oh my gosh here we go again another year of just like goal setting and um, trying to stay motivated so I usually give myself a little bit of leeway in January but in saying that I do get a boost of motivation once the new year rolls around so and I do like the idea of um, being productive in a new year, setting goals. I like New Year's resolutions. I think I've mentioned this before. Some people don't like them and they may not work for others, which is completely fine, but they really do work for me. And I feel as though every single year that goes by, I implement at least one kind of lifestyle change for the better. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about the actual planner itself. Guys, I love croc leather so much. I always have. It is so timeless. Um, and I just don't get sick of pulling this out each day. And it's just such a beautiful, soft kind of texture, but also really durable. And um, I did sit it down on my dining room table the other day, which had a little bit of stickiness on there. And I just wiped it straight off and it was perfectly fine. So I know that this is going to last me a really, really long time. So it's definitely worth the money. Um, the clasp is really nice and solid and again, durable. So I love that. Um, I love this little pen holder here. It's very handy. I yeah, will always just keep that pen in there. And then same with the ring binder. I do, I, I'm so glad that I opted for the black. It's quite seamless. Um, and I think it just looks really, really um, sophisticated and doesn't really interfere with anything else that's going on. So as for the inside of the planner, I don't think a lot has changed on this side. I still have my little Gucci card, which is so nice. It really does add a nice pop of color. Um, and then I've got my page flags here. I haven't actually used these ones yet, but I have used these ones and written um, some things on it which I will show you throughout the planner but I absolutely love those and also I still have all of my stickers in here I don't have a lot of stickers but I feel like I've got everything that I need um, but that is one thing I need to kind of get used to is getting a little more creative with my planner I've really just been jotting things down just doing a lots of brain dumps in there but I really need to just take some time out maybe one hour every week make myself a tea put on a candle and just get creative with it and just really enjoy the process i have started using the little black dots um, for the days of where i'm in the office for work and i've only just started doing that and it helps so much because at a glance you can kind of see your whole week and you are able to see which days you're in the office and which days um, i'm working from home and then on this side i have this beautiful dashboard here the harder i work the luckier i get and this quote really does motivate me every single day in a positive way as well it doesn't make me feel pressure and i just absolutely love that quote the only issue i have is that this dashboard isn't as see-through as I would like it to be because I wish I could see this a little more. So this here is my 2023 vision board that I put into my own homemade dashboard. Now I don't think I've ever had so many questions on a video on how I created my own dashboards and guys in my vlog, my most recent vlog, I ran through exactly how I created them so I'll leave that video link below but 
I might even include that clip of me creating the dashboards at the end of this video so that way um, it's kind of just all planner related stuff. So if you want to see that, wait until the end of the video and I'll insert that clip. But something that I didn't show in that video is how I created the dashboards in Canva prior to printing them. So I just wanted to, it will only take me two seconds, I'll just quickly show you guys my designs um, and I just do them on my iPad. Also guys, can we just appreciate how amazing this case is? It is so sturdy, it's from Logitech and they kindly sent it over to me because they watched one of my videos and said that they noticed I didn't have an iPad case. Um, so I am so, so grateful. And guys, on my old iPad, I had one of these keypad cases before, but it didn't have the mouse trackpad, and I found that that is a game changer. I can easily use this as a laptop. So I'll just go down to Canva, and honestly, when I first put this case on and started to use it, I was a little bit like, oh my gosh, why did I ever buy a MacBook when you can kind of do everything now on a iPad? So if you are someone who is... Um, on the hunt for a new MacBook or laptop and it's just for things like social media or Canva or just browsing, definitely look into getting yourself an iPad and one of these Logitech cases because it'll probably save you a fair bit of money and they are just as good. I might actually flip this so you guys can see it properly, but here are my designs on Canva and I've got my vision board, I have my by Shannon Reynolds dashboard, these are all my dashboards and the actual sizes of them are 14.8 centimeters wide by 21 centimeters high. So that is the width, uh, the dimensions that you need this part if you have an A5 planner. Obviously, if you have a different size planner, you need to look into what your dimensions are or measure a dashboard that you already own. So guys, it is this simple. I have my document. If I want to change the background image, I upload it through here, through uploads. I click on the image. I hit these little three dots and say replace background. Done. And then here I could type travel or something like that. And that's as easy as it is. Once you've got all the dashboards that you want in a document, you export it and I export it. I hit download. Then you have to go to PDF print. And I don't worry about any of these parts here. Just leave all of that. You can select what pages you want and then you hit download and it will download straight to your desktop. And then you can go file, print, and make sure in your printer settings, you click actual size rather than fit to page. You want it to be the actual size. So that is as easy as it is. And Canva is free for anyone to use. There is a premium kind of subscription, but you will be able to create dashboards for free without that subscription. So go ahead, guys, have fun with it. Create all the dashboards you would like. Um, once you export them all and save them maybe to a USB, take them to your local stationery shop or if you have a home printer, print them out onto some card. Um, some people asked exactly what card I used. I'm not sure. I just went for a similar thickness to what my purchased dashboards are and they were perfect. And thank you Logitech for this amazing case. I honestly think my laptop is just going to remain in my office and not move and this will become my little laptop that I kind of take everywhere with me. It is called the Folio Touch. So yeah, it's absolutely amazing and just such a game changer. So back to the planner. I hope I'm not boring you guys. Um, I'm going to try and keep it as interesting as possible. So we then have the inbox section and I have this little envelope which I attach just using a staple. And in here, each day, I just keep all of my little brain dumps in there. And this is just from today. That's actually pretty a pretty good day really. Sometimes I pull it out and guys, the thoughts that I have running through my head every day, ideas, things that I need to do, I kind of just write them on a sticky note and put in here. And that is something I am adding to my list of what I need. I need to get some nice sticky notes because I really do use them a lot. Then we head to the month. So master to do, we've got Remy next guard. She was due for a next guard today. Announce the giveaway winner, which I've done and a YouTube video, one month planner review, which I am doing right now. So already all of those can pretty much be t off. Now I won't show you guys this week because I do keep, I mean, I don't know, is a planner private? 
I don't know, I do scribble a lot. So that page there from this week under here is completely full, but I'm happy to show you next week. So I like to mark straight away with a highlighter the days that I have off. So this day here is my audio, and then we've got the weekend, and then this is where I write to, like to put my to-do list. So I've already started to fill out um, things that I want to do next week. So that is my week to view. Now, generally, I use, I usually go through my day and I list out everything that I have on that day. So in terms of separate areas for to-do lists, they don't really work for me. I either put it either here or I put it on the actual day. Um, I am someone who doesn't like to have an ongoing to-do list at any time. I've, I've got it on my to-do list. It needs to be done now. And then here I have my tracker. So the first thing, I started to write this today and I thought, you know what, I'm going to wait for this video and write it with you guys. So this is where I have been putting the goals that I wanted to implement daily. So that is my week to view. That is how I like to plan. If you guys want to see a little more in depth, like a planner night, um, me sitting down, really going through planning out my week, then I would be more than happy to film that for you. But I won't go too into depth with that in this video. So if we skip past all of that, I then have my wish list section, which I have been using when I showed you guys my planner at the beginning. I did have this at the back, but I have moved it to here because I just find that I do refer to it a fair bit and I have gone through and crossed off any items that I have purchased. So I've purchased a white blouse, a leather jacket. I haven't crossed off boots yet because I did purchase some boots, but I will be sending them back. They just didn't fit quite right. And as for designer handbags um, and what's on my wish list in terms of designer items, don't be alarmed guys. I am just going through a little bit of a stage right now of just taking things slow and being a little more aware of my purchases but that does not mean I will not be purchasing any designer items anytime soon it's just that right now in this moment I'm focusing more on clothing and a little more on my healthy habits so if you're wondering where all of my pre-loved designer content is don't be alarmed guys it is coming it's just one of those things that right now it's not at the top of my priority list but it has always been a hobby of mine and it won't be going anywhere. So with this section, I, this is where I've been using those little page flags and they're working really well. So here I have giveaway and here I have video ideas. So I just have lined paper in here and this was everything to do with the giveaway, T's and C's, things I um, needed to do, any reels I needed to create, I would list there. And then video ideas, this is where I list all of the video ideas that I have. So that is currently how I'm using my planner. Now, things that I would like to add to my planner are obviously maybe some more stickers, maybe some smaller ones would be really good just for like um, days that I have appointments or yeah, things that I need to remember. And then again, I would like to get some nice sticky notes. I do have sticky notes, but they're not very aesthetic. Um, so yeah, some big kind of sticky notes to like jot down ideas and stuff is something that I want to buy for this. And in February, I really want to set aside time to get creative with my planner because I love watching everyone else's videos on them and I feel like there is so much more I could do I am really still getting used to it so that is something that I will be doing in February is just getting some more accessories and then really dedicating that time a little bit of self-care and just going through and not even planning stuff out I would like to journal a little bit more get my thoughts out onto paper um, not just work related but just pretty much any thought fleeting thought that I have going through my mind it would be nice to have a space in my planner to write that write that down but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll definitely leave the clips at the end of how to create those dashboards um, and if you want to see more planner kind of updates make sure you let me know in the comments below and I would be more than happy to film them for you but anyway guys my battery is flashing and I will see you in my next video bye so guys, so many of you wanted to know how I created my um, planner dashboards and I thought I would quickly show you and I'll make sure that I also show this in my upcoming planner review because a lot of you guys obviously want to know and I don't know if many people will watch <laughs> my vlogs. So I have some here that I'm going to create for my friend Lou because we are doing another box swap and I thought I would send her a couple of personalized dashboards. So what you'll need are your dashboards. Now I simply create these in Canva. The size of the actual image is an A5 size. So just look up what the dimensions are for A5 and that will be the size of the image. 
um, and then you will need to print it onto just some card that is kind of a similar thickness to an actual dashboard that you would buy. So this one here, I'm just using as a little bit of a guide, um, one of my own ones. And yeah, they're similar kind of thickness, not too thick. Um, I could have gone thicker, but this is just the card that I already had. Um, so yeah, you basically print off all the images that you would like and then you need um, a cutting board or something underneath so you don't ruin the table. Um, I get bought this hole punch. I think this was from Officeworks for a dollar or two dollars. It's just one of the single hole punches. You'll need a pencil or a pen. I use a small Stanley knife and then you'll need a ruler and I went for the metal one because that way I can't kind of cut it. If you guys see flies going across the screen, there is a serious thing going on where I live. Flies are everywhere, just all bugs in general. There's heaps of snakes around, heaps of spiders and heaps of flies and there is nothing we can do about it. They're just everywhere at the moment. Anyway, that's a little bit of a disclaimer. So they are all of the tools you'll need. So go ahead and purchase all of these items. It will not cost you much at all. And then that way you can always just create your own dashboards. And I'm sure with practice, you'll get better and better. So let's go ahead and create one. So Lou's channel is Life with Lou. And I just found a quite an aesthetic image on Pinterest um, and put Life with Lou. So that way she can have this dashboard in her planner and any videos that she has planned or any content, she can put it in that section of her book. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do first is basically cut along the line of the image. So I use the Stanley knife, um, line it up. It's so easy, guys. Um, in hindsight, the two things I would probably do is go for a thicker card and also something with a little bit of shine. This is a matte, um, card which originally I thought I liked but I mean it's not bad but I think if you went a little shinier it might look a little more expensive or you know bought so I'm just going to cut along the lines <gasps> oh my gosh I went off track the ruler slipped Lou this one's gonna be a little bit sorry you might just have to... Oh no, why did I do that? I don't have another one printed. I printed them at work because I tried to print them from home and the home printer just is not as good as the work one. Damn it. That is annoying. Um, so basically, you cut it like that. You then, and make sure when you put the words, like obviously the hole punches are going to go down the side. So make sure when you put any writing that you kind of do it slightly off center. So that way once it's in the book, the words are center, if you know what I mean. So I then use the guide. See, oh, I did it slightly too small. So I don't know. Anyway, that'll do. So basically I line it up like this. And then once you've done that, you line it up and you do a little dot where all the holes are so you know where to hole punch. So I take the hole punch cover off so that way through this hole you can see where you drew the little, your markers and you want the dot to be exactly in the middle and you hole punch it. Like that is as simple as it is. And that's it. That's how you create a dashboard.